Okay, so I cranked Betsy and brought her around the house. Just letting her run a little bit. I got to choke out a little fast. Uh, last time I drove it, she was boggling down a little bit on the way home. And I've got a uh, an inline filter right at the gas tank on that car to catch any crap that comes out of the tank. And I'm willing to bet that filter's gotten clogged up. I got a spare one on the shelf over here. And my thinking was I would uh, pull it in here and raise it up on the lift and check that filter and swap it out. Oh, no, that's an old dirty one. That's not a new one. I thought I had a new one, but this is one I took off of it last time. You can see how much crap was in it. Well, I can at least get it up in the air and look at that filter. Uh, I may have already swapped one on it. But she was boggling for some reason, and I don't know what. But I thought while she was running, I'd mess with this windshield on this bike a little bit. This windshield is a little lower than I want it to be, and it's touching the headlight, and I'm thinking it's going to scuff that light up. So I think well, if I loosen these two bolts, I believe I could raise it up two inches right there and uh, just put the bolt hole through that instead of through that. I believe I could do that. So I'm going to give it a try. See if I can raise that windshield a little bit while uh, Betsy's running. And just kind of letting her run to charge the battery a little bit. <clears throat> that should work. And while she's doing that, I don't know if y'all see me from there or not. Mind about that after I thought about it because what I could do is swing that big forward around, back it up to that edge there, and I could pretty easily slide under the back of it with a blanket. And I'll do that. Boy, I was right about that filter being dirty. It is just full of crap. Me, uh, I know it's probably overkill, but since I've already had one car fall on me, I'm a little fussy about getting under them. And even though I know the likelihood of that rolling back is slim, uh, I still don't like it an extra block under the wheels just to make sure then I'll crawl under there and I'll show y'all what I was talking about y'all look at my neighbor up there he's just getting it done today bless his heart the hard working fella okay yeah. I like that uh, it's kind of a see-through filter so that you can see through it but what I can see when I'm looking through it is a lot of dirt y'all see that that's just full of crap you can see it jiggling around in there so that explains why when I would drive this it would cut out and not run well. I think I'll run up to the parts to the hardware store and get me a filter and put on that. That should be a fairly quick little swap out there. Usually I can pinch off that fuel line on the other end so I don't get too much gas on me when I do that. So I'll run up there and do that. And probably what I'll do is go ahead and put this on the lift since I'm at the side I'm going to do that. I've moved these motorcycles out of the way. Motorcycles out of the way. And uh, 
pull that forward in here. 